For some strange reason, one of my most requested videos, whenever I ask you guys, what do you want to see? You always want to learn Swedish, and I personally, being a native speaker, do not really understand the fascination. Look at all this moolah, I got cash now, and a bunch of books in my lap now. But there is something about Swedish. There are so many people who are so fascinated by it, who want to learn it for some strange reason. And, I mean, I kind of just want to give you guys what you want, because if you guys are so excited about the Swedish language, I can definitely share it with you guys. So I'll make a little series this year on my channel where I teach you guys some basic Swedish. I'm definitely not a language teacher at all. I don't plan on making my followers fluent in Swedish, that I won't be teaching you all this kind of very advanced stuff. For that, I do want to recommend Duolingo, not sponsored, just think it's a great site. <laughs> I've been studying my German on Duolingo and I'll link it in the description below. So you can go there and learn real Swedish if that's what you want, but I will just go through like the fun parts. Today, just to kick it off a little bit, I wanted to do a kind of fun video for me, I guess. I thought I'd go through this entire list of Swedish words that are very difficult to pronounce for some people. Might be super easy for others. If you're Swedish watching this, it would probably be pretty easy for you. We have a lot of sounds for like sh and h and h. And they're all spelled kind of differently. Sometimes they're spelled differently, but they're pronounced the same, and sometimes they're spelled this kind of the same, but they're pronounced differently. The first word is skirt, and skirt in Swedish is shul, spelled like this, shul. And it's basically like when you tell someone to shut up, sh, and then just ul, shul. The next one is shirt, like a button-down shirt, um, and that is skjorta. And it's spelled like this, SKJ. And KJ is SH, SKJ is HH. So that's kind of like when, <laughs> when you get scared and you're like, Whoo! Like, good thing we didn't die. Urta. Urta. I mean, you can also say, Whew. And it's not, Urta. That would be weird, but like, Urta. 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 The next is KY. And the word is kyrka, and that is church. So kyrka. It's kind of the same as shul. Kyrka. Shul, kyrka. Except kyrka is spelled with only K, and like, uh, well, K-Y, instead of K-J, just like shul. Now one that's kind of infamous for foreigners, or well, it's two words, but the second word has the first word in it, um, and that is the number seven, and also nurse. So the number seven is sju. And this is basically the same sound as skjorta, sju. Skjorta, sju. Except skjorta is spelled S-K-J. Sju is just spelled S-J-U. And nurse is sjuksköterska. And here we have two sh sounds in the same word. Sjuk, which is sick, and sköterska, which is nurse. And sköterska is spelled SK. So we have sjuk sköterska. And if you find it difficult to pronounce sju, I saw on some page that they kind of explained it as in the Spanish pronunciation of Juan. And you just take away an on the end and add a U. Sju. Juan. Sju. Chess in Swedish is schack. And that is spelled S-C-H, I think. Sju. Yeah, it's basically the same sound, but it's spelled completely different. Like, it's not S-J, it's S-C-H. Now we have one that actually one of my followers wrote me and said, can you please help me pronounce this word in Swedish? And that's the word for spoon. And spoon in Swedish is sked. And it's basically the same, it's spelled S-K this time. So S-J, S-C-H, S-K, all the same sounds. Sked, sju. So it's still the Juan <laughs> pronunciation. So Juan, sked. It's like a Nothing is really closed in your mouth. It's not a shh where you kind of close your tongue to the ceiling of your mouth. 
It's more like open Ed. And then we have lake, also the same sound Sjö After sjö, we have a city called Sjövde But this is not spelled S-J-Ö-V-D It's spelled S-K-Ö-V-D Next we have one that confuses even me as a Swede, it pisses me the fuck off And that's a city And the city is called Christian city In Swedish, that would be Christian stad Christian, Christian, stad, city. However, it's not pronounced Christian stad for some stupid reason. It is pronounced Kristianstad. Like what the fuck is that even? I, as a Swedish person, do not even know why the fuck is pronounced Kristianstad. Imagine being a cat, pissing at someone. Kristianstad. Kristianstad. Kri. Ansta. And we have another word with the same cat hissing sound, and that is director. Director in Swedish is re regisseur. Regisseur. And then we have another one that confuses a lot of Swedes too, including me, and that is genre. Uh, the English pronunciation of genre is way more logical than the Swedish one, because in Swedish it's spelled genre, and it would be logical to pronounce it genre. Genre. But it's not pronounced genre, and that's fucking annoying. It is pronounced genre. So genre, G-E, is also pronounced like skjorta, schack, sjö, genre. Why do we have so many different spelling versions of the same sound? I don't know. Then we have chocolate. Choklad. C-H. Also, Choklad. Another word that's a sound, it's not SKJ, it's just SK. And that is the word for shit. Shit in Swedish is skit. SKIT is it. Now we have kind of a new sound, it's kilo. And it's spelled the same as in English, kilo. But in Swedish we pronounce it kilo. So KI, or just K I guess, K is also pronounced sh. The number 20 is spelled T-J and pronounced, can you guess? Shugo! Why am I making this video? <laughs> the month of March is spelled M-A-R-S. Can you guess how it's pronounced? Mash. 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 And then last but not least, we have different J sounds. So these are not the sounds. It's different spellings of the same sound again, but this time the category is J. Yes in Swedish is ja. That's the basic. J-A. Ja. No funny business. But then we have animal. Animal is spelled D-J-U-R. D-J is also just J. Jur. So J. Ja. D-J. Jur. Then we have a word for did, basically. I did this. And uh, that Swedish word is jord, spelled G-J. Ja, djur, jorde. Yes, hello? Yes, hello. Because I'm filming right now, thank you very much. We have J, we have DJ, we have GJ. Now, we also have HJ. The word is help. The Swedish word for help is hjälpa, spelled H-J. Hjälpa, ja, djur, gjorde, hjälpa. All the same sounds! <sighs> and of course we can't, we can't leave it at that. There has to be another spelling of the same fucking sound. And of course there is, of course there is. Light, daylight, light from a lamp. Light in Swedish is ljus. Spelled LJ! J, DJ, GJ, HJ, and LJ are all pronounced just J. Ja, djur, gjorde, hjälpa, ljus. Spelled completely differently. And that's all the stupid Swedish I can teach you guys today. I'm getting frustrated with how stupid the Swedish language is already, and this is the first episode of this series. <laughs> um, if you were extremely confused by this video, yeah, that makes two of us. 
Um, but I hope you found it a little bit entertaining anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I'm so overexposed in this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Until next time, have a super duper one, guys. I will see you later.